Now, I know you already know what subnetting is and how to do it, but it's important to be able to subnet quickly and accurately. In this course, we're gonna work on a series of customer requests, and our goal is to get through these requests as quickly as possible. So let's jump right into our first request. The customer asks us to efficiently subnet the following networks to accommodate the given number of hosts. Use the lowest numbered subnets possible and then proceeds to give us what looks like almost a dozen networks. Essentially, the customer is giving us a set of networks that he wants to use. 10.0.12.0 slash 24, 10.0.14.0 slash 24, and so on. But the catch is that he wants us to subnet each of these networks efficiently so that each subnet can accommodate a certain maximum number of hosts. Now notice that each of these networks the customer has given us has a slash 24 subnet mask. The term subnetting implies that we're gonna to need to extend the mask to the right. So when we subnet each of these networks, we're gonna end up with a subnet mask greater than 24 bits in length. First, we'll add one to the maximum number of hosts that need to reside in the subnet. Next, we'll convert the result to binary and then count the number of leftmost or high order zeros and add that number to the original mask. So let's start with the first one. We need to efficiently subnet 10.0.12.0/24 to accommodate a maximum of two hosts. Now this network as is can already accommodate two hosts, but we want to make efficient use of IP space. So the customer is asking us to conserve as much IP space as possible. So the first thing we're gonna do is add one to the number of hosts, which in this case is two. Two plus one is of course three. Now we need to convert three to binary, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now count the number of zeros to the left of the leftmost one, six zeros. So we add six to the number of bits in the original network mask, which was 24. And that gives us the new subnet mask slash 30. The subnet is 10, 0, 12 .0 slash 30. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Networks 10, 0, 14, 23, 36, 45, and 56 dot zero slash 24 all need to be able to accommodate up to six hosts. So let's try this. Add one to the number of hosts, six, and that gives us seven. Now we write seven in binary, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and count the number of zeros to the left of the leftmost one. That gives us five, so we add five to the original number of bits, 24. The answer is a 29-bit subnet mask, and that's going to be the subnet mask for all of these networks where we need to accommodate a maximum of six hosts. Finally, one more example. Let's try this with 14 hosts for the 10, 0, 18, 27, and 34 .0 slash 24 networks. Add one to the number of hosts to get 15, convert 15 to binary, and count the number of zeros to the left of the leftmost one. There are four, so we add four to 24 and get 28, a 28-bit subnet mask. Now keep these subnet masks in mind because we're gonna use them a little bit later. 